fashion, fashion. It's Evelina's Fashion Cafe. Woo! Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of the Fashion Cafe. I'm so sorry there was no episode last week and all because of... I have a new kitty! Her name is so slick and she is the most precious little girl. She's a munchkin Scottish fold and she is tiny. As you can see, she can fit in a cup. She's my new baby and I just love her so much. Yeah, you're so cute. She like runs around everywhere. She's like the happiest, most energetic kitty ever. So today I have a really fun fashion haul for you guys. For me, fall is the absolute most exciting time of the year when it comes to fashion. And I have lots of things here. I have sweaters and hoodies and purses and shoes and accessories and beanies. It is fall and I kind of accumulated all this stuff for the last month or so. So there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna start with my Philip for Target haul. I was the first person in line. Uh, I know, it was insane. If you want to read about it more, I'm gonna post a link down on my blog. I like did my whole experience and like everything that I got in pictures and everything. So, I went to Target and I went at 4am and I was the first person and the next person showed up at 6am and got just as much stuff as me but I was just that excited. So to start with, I got the boom sweater, of course. Every single person that's gone to get something from Philip Lim got this sweater. I really particularly love this detailing at the bottom. The print is really nice quality. Um, I would like to add that all the Philip Lim stuff isn't like the best quality, like it's not the regular Philip Lim but the designs are very very close to what they actually are in his like regular collection so I really wanted to get my hands on it. So next I got two sweaters. This is like a really nice leopard print with blue detailing and orange, sort of like a burnt orange. It's almost like a pumpkin color. Air please. I have my... <laughs> I have my very personal air person. Um, yeah, the air conditioning makes way too much noise. <laughs> So yeah, I have these two sweaters and this one's just like a blue with green sleeves. It's really simple. The next thing that I got from Philip Lynn for Target was just this nice blouse. And this is an extra small and I know that it looks really huge, but I think it would look really nice tucked in into like high-waisted pants. I um, I got this blouse from, it's not a blouse, it's more like a flowy ruffle top from um, Nordstrom Rack and it's by Rachel Zoe. And it was like very much so on sale, but I think this was like $50 or $40 something like that which like I wouldn't normally pay for a top like this But I wish like you guys could see it in person like the quality is so nice and the fabric sort of has this like flocked detailing on it where it kind of like pops um, it's, it's just a really nice top and I, I, I can't wait to wear it for fall like this would look really nice with like a leather jacket or a cardigan or like a pair of distressed jeans so you guys know that I was in New York a couple weeks ago and I got invited to the uh, 20 T's and the Torn by Roni Cabo showrooms in uh, Manhattan and they asked me to like they offered me to pick out a couple pieces and I felt like a little kid in a candy store so I picked out a couple pieces from the collections and this one's from 20 T's it is a little bit big on me although it is a small uh, I am gonna have to tailor it but I absolutely love the detailing of it it sort of has like a settled color block look like it has the gray the dark gray here and then the leather color and then the black bottom so it's just like a really nice casual blazer the next two pieces are uh, as well torn by Roni Kobo I am just so in love this is a little dress I am just in love with this this looks so nice it like lays on my figure perfectly I can't wait to wear it with like some tall boots and then this bad boy is just like the softest like most comfortable little sweater with this like green and blue zebra print and it's super cozy uh, I can't wait for it to actually be like real sweater weather so I can wear these these are just like those must-have pieces for fall next I have this sort of like a throw cardigan jacket it has like a really nice leather detailing on all around the jacket and it has these super high shoulders it's from Romwe actually and I really like how they they kind of sew themselves like all the most popular street style um, jackets or just clothes in general and they usually do a pretty good job tailoring things and I, I just love this and it's sort of short in the back it has again leather detailing zippers and it, it like it just adds like a really glamorous edge to any outfit next speaking of those really important like basic wardrobe pieces that are going to be an investment for a very long time i purchased this alexander wang tee 
and this one is from Nordstrom Rack as well. So this was like originally $185 and I bought it for $60 in Nordstrom Rack. They have like a really nice designer section at the Nordstrom Rack where I live. And this is sort of like a synthetic uh, shirt but it lays really nicely, like drapes really nicely on the body. It's very tight fitting. It's like perfect if you want to wear a high waisted skirt or a leather jacket or anything like that. It's very delicate. If I have like my nails that are like completely filed, like it'll pull the strings out of it. But other than that, it's just like one of those really awesome, well fitted, basic tops really. So next is sweaters. What else can be more exciting? Um, I got this sweater from Nostrum Rack again and it's by Robert Rodriguez. Um, it's an extra small. It's like a really like nice little sweater. It's just like a really bright green. Um, I, it's, just, it's just a sweater. Like that, that's all I can say about it. Next I have the super soft awesome sweater from Ramui and I know it looks really chunky uh, but it's it's actually not. It's kind of interwaved with like this lacy uh, fabric. Same thing in the back. It sort of has like a very airy, lightweight combined with a chunky feel. And it's like has this braided detailing at the front. And then lastly, I got this awesome flannel top, flannel shirt from Forever 21. I've been really loving the look of tying my shirts around my waist. So I've been using this flannel shirt, flannel hat, flannel flannel shirt. It's not flannel. It's a flannel shirt that I've been tying around my waist. And then I went to Zara today actually and I was so in love with these like leggings slash pants. If a legging can be pants, this is the legging that can pull it off for pants. It's just, it has this really thick elastic band and zippers and then it has like more elastic on the side. They are the most slimming well-fitting pants. Like if you have a Zara nearby, go buy them in every color that they offer. These are glorious and they kind of like suck your belly in and everything because this like band like sort of like whoop, swoops everything in. Also from Zara, I got this top. It says, okay, I'm going to try to read in French, but just don't make fun of me. La vie est magnifique, soit toi-même. Here, I'll do it again. La vie, la vie est magnifique, soit toi-même. And next, I just have this little leather skirt that I got from H&M. It kind of has this sort of, I forgot what they're called. I don't think it's called a high-low, but it's just like, it has like this oval shape right here. It's a little bit shorter in the front, but it's very minimal. So it has sort of like an A-line shape. I think that's what that's called. And some zippers. I wore it at Fashion Week once, but yeah, it's going to be definitely like a basic for fall. All right, now to the exciting part. All the accessories and purses and shoes, I have a lot of them, so be ready. Okay, I have a couple of goodies from Daily Look. I have this leopard clutch. I've been wanting a leopard clutch for a long time now. I feel like, who doesn't want a leopard clutch? Like, you just need that in your life. I know that sounded like totally ditzy, but leopard clutch. Yeah, it's just a really simple leopard clutch. Please count how many times I said leopard clutch. It opens up, it has a chain strap, and it's sort of like hairy, like it has like a hairy, <laughs> hairy texture. And these shoes, like can we just, can we just give these shoes like a little moment? They're so awesome. They are from Daily Look as well. And they're by Chinese Laundry and they're just these brown strappy shoes. I got them because I don't have a single pair of brown shoes, I realized that. So I'm like, I need this in my life and then these I can wear with this. So it's like really easy to pair leopard print with brown shoes. So next are my Philip Lim for Target purses. I am just in love with these. I've just been wearing this purse non-stop. Like I wear it as a crossbody and it's just the perfect little purse size and I can fit in all of my necessities. And I just absolutely love this. It's like the most perfect size, perfect looking purse. And then I got this super cute crossbody purse and it's by a new designer called Erin Dana. I think she solely designs handbags and totes and little clutches. They're just adorable. I got this when I visited the 20Ts and torn by Roni Kobo uh, showrooms. It's just the perfect little purse. And it kind of goes like, has like a cream, a little bit of a snakeskin print on it, some studdings. Oh, it's just a dream. You guys are going to be like, do you have enough purses, Evelina? And I'm going to say, no, never. No, I'm just kidding. I got this purse from Ramui and I was a little bit skeptical to like purchase a purse from this side because I normally just get the clothes. 
but this thing is like the most high quality and like look inside the detailing like it's just so beautiful with like this orange lining and it's very smooth and everybody always asks me like where did you get this who's the designer like who's it made by and I just say wrongly you know because it's just like a street style like affordable clothing website and I, I am in love with this like if you can get your hands on it go get it you're not going to be disappointed and I'm not getting paid or anything like that to say this. Next, Schumann had a Labor Day sale. They had, I think like a 75% off sale, which of course, how would I pass that on? So I decided to get some boots. I forgot, I'll put in the link down description like what these are called, um, but these are just like these really nice sort of burgundy oxblood shoes, um, like little wedge boots and have like half leather, half suede. Really cute, really comfortable. I'm definitely gonna wear them a lot for my errands and just going around town and everything. Okay, and then these shoes, they need their own separate video. Like, can we just pause everything that we're doing right now and like, give this shoes an homage? Like, what? I've just been wanting like some really nice like statement sh boots or statement red boots and these are gorgeous. They just go so well with like an old denim look or um, kind of a casual like plaid distressed jeans. Like I just, I'm in love with these. Okay and lastly I have a couple accessories. Here I got this beanie. It's from Brandy Melville and it's called Stay Weird and it's sort of written upside down. You've probably seen it like everywhere if you live in California. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Stay weird, then it's upside down. It's just a really cute beanie. And then I got a statement necklace from Zara. It has like blue, yellow, red detailing, red beading. And while I was in New York, I was like scrambling to like finish putting together my outfit for Fashion Week. I came across this belt at H&M and this belt is just glorious. It has like so much beautiful detailing and then these buttons and it just like makes any outfit from like basic to like amazing. Mm. I went thrifting a couple days ago and I purchased these sunglasses. It was buy one, buy one, half off. And I just been wanting some weird sunglasses in my life. I got these, which are pretty weird. They're actually really sturdy, like really cool sunglasses. They're huge, they're like bug eyes, but I just love them. And these are kind of like, just have like, these are kind of basic, but also have like a weird shape to them and like a matte leopard look. And you guys thought that I was done, but I'm not done. Remember I was telling you that I bought this really awesome Philip Lim for Target purse that is sold out everywhere, that was sold out within the first five minutes? Well, I bought you guys one too. So if you want to win this, I'm going to leave all the rules down below. I'm going to send it to one of you. Oh yeah, I'll fill that out with also a card with my personal like writing and whatnot in it. So yeah, all the rules are going to be on my blog and I will link it down below so I don't crowd the description box with it. So definitely enter. It's going to be a really, it's just a really, really cool purse and I really want it for one of you to have it. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I have a question for you. What was your last purchase for fall? Like your last fashion purchase for fall? And also, what would you like to purchase for fall? I personally really am looking for a leather jacket, so I can't wait to get my hands on a really nice, beautiful, soft leather jacket. So what are your comments? I want to know down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video, which is next Tuesday. And I love you guys. Bye!